Pythagoras exact values. Sometimes you'll find a question that asks you to find a side as an exact value. Sometimes these are a little tricky, sometimes they're normal Pythagoras questions. So we're going to look at what that means, exact value, and one of the tricky questions that you might run across. Looking at this first question, find x as an exact value. Now they've named a short side x, but we know we can call that a if we want to, or x if we want to, it doesn't matter. Our hypotenuse and our other side get labelled. It's just finding a shorter side, so we choose one of our possible formula versions. Let's just go c squared equals a squared plus b squared, because any time we're not certain if it's going to be a hard question, we go back to that. Substitute our values in. 30 squared equals uh, x squared plus 16 squared. Now we work out 30 squared, well 3 times 3 is 9, so 900 equals x squared plus 16 squared, 256. Feel free to get a calculator. It's an equation, we've got x squared in the middle there, we want it on its own, so we take 256 away from both sides. Take it away from here, so it cancels, and we're left with 644 wow. equals x squared. If we're feeling uncertain because our x squared is on the wrong side, you can take it over to the correct side like that just by swapping. Now normally, it, this is looking really normal. We'd find the square root of both sides and we'd get x equals the square root of 644 and x equals, well, the square root of 644, typed into our calculator, and that's a very long and confusing number. We're going to have to round that if we want to write it down, because it just seems to keep going forever. 25.377 keeps going. Let's round to one decimal place, which is 25.4, and we've got units as meters. But that's not exact. It's an approximation. We can't write it down exactly because those decimal places keep going forever because this is what is called an irrational number. And really, if we were being very good mathematicians, we would put approximately equal to because we just rounded it and it's not exact. But they asked me for an exact value. The exact value is leaving our answer as a square root. Because that's exact. We know that's absolutely right. We haven't done any rounding. We've calculated it perfectly. And when they ask for an exact value, if evaluating x to a decimal would give me an irrational number where the decimal places keep going forever and ever and ever, then leave it as a square root, put in the fact that it's meters, if you need to, easier to pop it in brackets, so if we just write that again because I got messy, x equals the square root of 644 in meters, and that is exact form. Now, the other word for exact form when we're dealing with these is surd form. And a surd is any number with a root sign that if we evaluated it would be an irrational number that keeps going and going and going forever. So the square root of 25 is not a surd because it equals exactly 5. And if I got something that gave me exactly 6.25, that's not a surd. But if I get something that's a square root or a root, 
that has a decimal answer that keeps going forever as far as we can see, chances are it's a third. And if they ask us to leave our answer in third form or exact form, we leave it as a square root. Now we can simplify that a little bit further later on once we've learned about thirds a bit more, but we haven't done that yet, so I accept that form of the answer. That's fine. The next question you'll see, this is a, a scary sort of question, because they've only given me one number. The hypotenuse is 3, and both of the other sides are x. Now this is the sort of question where it's really a good idea to go back to our original c squared equals a squared plus b squared. That's c. Substitute our values. 3 squared equals x squared plus, well, what's this? It's also x. x squared. And we evaluate and we solve. 3 squared is 9. But you'll also remember way back I said we might want to simplify first. x squared plus x squared is 2x squared. And now you have an equation. We're doing reverse order of operations, reverse bod mass with an equation. What do I want to get rid of near the x or 2x squared? The 2 and the squared. Bod mass says powers happen first before multiplication, so reverse bod mass, deal with this one first. Divide by 2 on both sides. 9 divided by 2, and this one cancels out. And they've said they want an exact value. I need to find the square root of both sides. If we're getting confused here, remember you can always turn this around to get x on the correct side so we feel better. The square root of both sides, x equals the square root of 9 over 2. See how I did a big square root sign to fit it all in? And if you tried that on your calculator, you get a big, horrible, long, complex number. They said exact value. We leave it as an exact value. Notice the way I did this. I saw it was a tricky question, so I used the original equation, and I simplified where I could before I started trying to solve. 